And at least 50 people have been arrested at the Duins in the Western Cape on the public violence related charges. This after a protest by farm workers for higher wages turned violent. Police, uh, fire rubber, uh, police fired rubber bullets. That's to disperse hundreds of striking farm workers. The strikers are said to have uh, hurled stones from behind barricades of burning tires. For more details on the story, we're joined on the line by Hans van der Mave, CEO at AgriSA. Hans, uh, thanks so much for joining us today. So just looking at some of the reports coming through today, it seems that there has been a uh, sporadic support uh, for this uh, farm worker strike. You've got the likes of uh, Grobo, uh, Wolseley and Barrydale, where uh, transport routes have said to be disrupted. And then in some areas we have had farm workers uh, not choosing to participate in the strike. Uh, from what you know in the Western Cape right now, what type of support has the strike received? Well, I think you quite rightly point to uh, a couple of areas where there were dis disruptions. Over the last month or so, I think the, uh, the at on-farm level, there were in-depth discussions between farmers and, and, and employees. and. Uh, uh, our uh, reports are that the permanent workforce are basically uh, at work and are not participating. And uh, also a, a large number of, of, of temporary workers also pitch up for work. So uh, I'm not very sure who is actually participating in, in, in these uh, activities. I think it is some of them are seasonal workers. And I think there's also a lot of, of uh, jobless people that uh, that is participating fact of the matter it is disruptive and it is a cause of concern and and we really need a, a comprehensive solution to find quality jobs for, for more on a formal basis on a full-time basis to mm -hmm. solve this because if you only work for a, it's seasonable workers for a couple of months a year raising the minimum wage will still leave them with eight months without remuneration and that is a poverty problem so how to grow the sector and provide quality jobs is actually the challenge ahead of us. And uh, we must really work through this uh, situation and find the uh, policy solutions that, that will take agriculture forward. I hear what you're saying, of course, the, the difference between seasonality and uh, permanent workers and, of course, uh, the overall annual income they'll be receiving. But, but let's talk about the, the viability of, in fact, raising that minimum wage. I know that AgriSA has done a feasibility study into that. Uh, how many farmers are you aware of that, that can actually afford the 150 rand minimum wage that's being proposed right now? Uh, just to, to take that as a point of departure, I, uh, I think um, many farmers pay much more than that for, for permanent workers. If you look at the statistical information that we have from government and other surveys, uh, they were receiving between 150 and 200 rand and housing and water electricity. So that is the permanent workforce. The seasonable workers uh, will receive about 84 rand. Uh, currently, if you look at, at the basic wage and maybe some in incentives uh, that they, that they uh, receive as well. If you, the analysis indicate that if, if you increase the daily wage, the minimum wage by 20, it, it also elevates basically all the other wages and salaries in agriculture. And uh, uh, it, it will easily, if you raise it, say, by 20 rand a day, uh, most of the subsectors in agriculture will move into a, a negative net farm income situation. So it is actually a huge problem. How do you create jobs? But mm -hmm. on the same side, uh, uh, for, uh, the, as time to meet the challenge of, of giving people adequate income to have a decent life. And, and quite clearly, higher wages will lead to shedding of, 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 of labor and, and increase mechanization and, and actually add to the to the job uh, uh, challenges that, that that South Africa faces, so it is a multifaceted issue. We just cannot only look uh, narrowly at minimum wages. We need a comprehensive uh, 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 policy approach to to create new opportunities and incentivize uh, uh, growth opportunities in, in in agriculture. Otherwise, we're going actually to harm labour. Uh, uh, job opportunities in, in the short term. Uh, very quickly, uh, Hans, are you engaging with the government right now? Of course, the government is uh, ultimately the, the body that will determine the, the minimum wage here. Uh, and of course, the policies that are needed to help uh, create that uh, you know, more sustainable yeah. income for seasonal workers. Are you engaging with government right now? Yes. Uh, uh, 
they, they paid a visit last week to the Western Cape where uh, they requested us to assess uh, what communication, what discussions had taken place on farm level. We had uh, discussions on Tuesday with them giving, giving background uh, on, on that survey. And, and then they, they also posed a challenge to us to say whether we can negotiate with, with Labour maybe a consensus presentation to government. The problem is is that Labour is not well organised in, 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 in agriculture and, and the present organisations are mainly from the Western Cape. So, so the, the, the view amongst not only AgriSA, it is a, it is a shared view of, of other national agriculture organisations, is that we should provide input and discuss with, with government the, 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 the extent of the, the context of the challenge and provide the input and, and that the, the formal law process be duly f uh, followed. And that is to provide input from all corners and, 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 and sections of agriculture and the Employment Conditions Commission should eventually consider it and make a proposal to the Minister to, to make a decision. Mm -hmm. uh, what we can provide is what the impact of various scenarios of wages will be on agriculture and I can assure you that any increase will have some effect. Uh, it is not that such a, a structural adjustment can, can uh, 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 go without causing some knock-on effects on the input supply side, on the, on the labor creation side, on, on the food price side as well. Yep. So it is really a, a challenging task ahead of us to create the, the necessary understanding of the complexity.